there coming by for the shop tour. What are, what are they doing? What are y'all doing out here? Come on in for the shop tour. Come on, let's go. Welcome to my shop. Um, this shop is 16 by 28. Um, it is a Graceland portable garage. If you're not familiar with Graceland, they are a portable building company. Um, if you live in the lower southeast part of the United States, if there's just random buildings and parking lots, that's usually them or another brand like them uh, selling their buildings. So I bought one because I didn't have a garage or a basement or anything to work out of. I was working out in the weather. So we bought this and I love it. Um, I've been in this shop for about a year. Um, I'll play some footage now. That's what it looked like whenever I first got it and then this is one year later. So let's take a tour. Let's start this tour at the heart of every wood shop, and that is the table saw. This is a Grizzly hybrid table saw, runs off 220, and it is a beast. Uh, I got this off of Craigslist from a guy who had recently upgraded to a saw stop. I know Craigslist is a little sketchy, but hey, it worked out good, and he even threw in the saw stop mobile base. So, small shop, everything needs to be on casters, wheels, be mobile. And yeah, love this saw. And then also just got this Infra Miter 1000 HD, um, literally like three days ago, Christmas present from my wife. And this thing's great. Um, super nice, much nicer than what comes with these saws. So upgrade your miter gauge, recommend it. Uh, yeah, let's move to the workbench. This is my workbench. Uh, this is actually one of the first things that I built. This was whenever I was still working outside. I uh, decided to make this just to store some of my tools under the carport and keep them out of the weather a little bit. Um, this is a uh, three foot by six foot piece of plywood on the top. And it's got three cabinets. And the first cabinet is air compressor and then some screws up top. And the center cabinet literally just has a bunch of random stuff in it and this last cabinet has my drills, drivers, uh, jigsaw, and a bunch of uh, drill bits and stuff. But uh, yeah, this thing uh, could use some serious upgrades. It is uh, not great, not flat, but it is sturdy. This thing does not move and it is heavy. Um, so yeah, this needs a new top. Um, let me show you how not flat this thing is. So yeah, that's pretty bad off. It's almost a quarter of an inch in the center. Um, but that'll get an upgrade soon. I also have a power strip right here to plug things into. And then some stain and finish right here. And then in this back little hole, there are some saw blades and some wood glue, more paint. And then I keep small stuff, uh, spray paint, stuff like that, just on the edge. So take advantage of all the storage you can get in a small shop. Let's go on. The next thing is my clamp storage. Uh, I just made this out of some scrap plywood that I had. It's all my uh, F-style clamps and a couple squeeze clamps and then a couple of these little right here, ear protection, glue, and then a brush on the side just to keep everything clean. And yeah. And then we move on to my boom arm. I got this idea from Lincoln Street Woodworks. Um, it has vacuum hose and power cord. Power cord goes down to an automatic switch that turns on the vacuum and this hose hooks right up to the tool. It's got a blast right here, you can open and close it, and it's great because it's automatic, so you just plug it all up, turn your tool on, and everything comes on and runs. And it is great. Love that thing. Um, 
me show you how it's hooked up right over here. All right, so on this side, I have a wind bag dust collector that hooks right up to a dust right separator. And from there, it comes out, goes up to the boom arm, and then goes into the workbench. And I have two ports on the workbench that I can hook up if I need additional suction or if I need to vacuum something up or something like that. So yeah, and it's run off an automatic switch just to make things really simple for me. So yeah, really easy, really convenient. Nice, let's move on. This is the Sawless Miter Saw Station. Um, I actually debated on even doing this video because my miter saw is in the shop right now because I had a kickback and it tore up. So, yeah, this is real life though. This is 2022. Um, miter saw is in the shop. Normally I have a Metabo 10 inch sliding miter saw right there. Um, and yeah, it's off centered on purpose. That way I have about nine to 10 foot of cutting capacity on the left side and then about six to seven foot on the right side. So if I need to cut longer boards, it's set up for that. Um, and then on this side, I have a bunch of drawers set up. Uh, top drawer is my measuring and marking. Second drawer is just some crack tools. Third drawer is sander, sandpaper. Uh, this is my track saw, uh, router, and the 720 Pro pocket hole jig. This is just some filling equipment, tripods, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is all my air guns. This is a bunch of random stuff. Got another router, biscuit joiner, um, some biscuit styles, that kind of stuff. And then this last drawer is dust collection. Uh, I usually get this out and use it to back in the shop. And then this is just some small part storage, some screws, that kind of stuff. Now on the other side of the Myers Hall station are three cabinets. And this first cabinet has a shop vac that would normally be hooked up to the miter saw for dust collection. And I actually don't even know what's in these cabinets. This cabinet is nothing. It's a first aid kit and saran wrap. And then this cabinet is a scroll saw, a little refrigerator, and a top to a bucket. Um, scroll saw, I have a scroll saw because I have a small shop. I don't have room for a band saw. So yeah, that's it for this. Let's move on. Keep working our way around. As we make our way around, uh, this is my joiner and then my meat split system. Uh, this thing is great. I actually got this off of Amazon. It is heating and cool, so it keeps you cool in the summer and nice and warm in the winter time. It's like 40-ish degrees outside right now, and it's currently 70 degrees in the shop, so nice and toasty. Um, and then the joiner, um, this was another Facebook find. Um, bought this from a cabinet shop. It is upgraded with the Shelix helical head cutter, and it's great. It runs off a uh, 110, so I don't have to run it to 220, nothing crazy like that. And yeah, this thing's a beast. This thing works great. Uh, six inch joiner. And you'll notice this one's not on a mobile base just because I had it on a mobile base. And then as you're pushing things through, I noticed that it kept trying to move on me and it didn't feel safe. So I just put it right here. No mobile base. Got plenty of in feed, out feed. And yeah, this tool is not going to go anywhere. This is where it's going to live in this shop. So that's already been determined. So it doesn't need a mobile base if you know that's where you're going to keep it. Um, otherwise, mobile base is for everything. Joiner, no, just because I didn't like it moving and wiggling. So yeah, that's that. And over here, I have the lumber rack where I keep all my lumber. And underneath, I keep some scraps. Uh, I don't have a lot of scraps. I kind of keep it all nice and tight up against the wall. Don't want to mess with the outfeed of the joiner. And I don't keep a lot of scraps because I don't make a lot of small projects. Um, I usually do like 
uh, tables, that kind of stuff. So scraps don't really interest me. Uh, I just throw it away because it just clutters up the shop. And I like a good open shop with plenty of room for, you know, to build stuff. The robots in here, so many activities! And have room to work. That's why my shop's not overran by a bunch of tools that I don't need. Saw horses, a couple mobile bases, um, mobile workbenches, uh, ladder, and then some foam insulation that I use to break down big sheets of plywood with my track saw. And moving on, this is my big nine foot roll up door, and it comes standard on this building because it's technically a garage. Um, and this thing is great for getting materials in and out, especially big sheets of plywood, big tables that I build, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's just a door, but it's awesome because it makes it easier on me to get stuff in and out. And then coming around here, this is where I keep all my just random stuff. These bottom two, this is finished products, paint, electrical, so I have like some extra wire plug-ins, that kind of stuff. Hardware for tables, cabinets, that kind of stuff. Um, a Craftsman 121 piece socket set, just in case you ever need sockets. Uh, just some miscellaneous stuff, pretty much stuff I didn't know where to put it. And then this is a big thing, dust collection accessories, and then this is also dust collect collection. Um, it's just a little toolbox. These are some sample pieces from when I built tables that I can show clients. And back behind there is the track saw. Track and this is just where I keep some paper towels. And just I drive on that little thing. Very nice. And a couple little tools on the side, some scissors, spray bottle, some pliers, and my work belt. Work belt. Pouch. Pouch for my work belt. Work, work, work belt. Pouch. Yeah. And then right here I have my Delta 734 planer um, on a custom cabinet that I built. Two drawers, um, just got some random stuff in there. And then underneath here is more stuff, some stickers, that kind of stuff. And then this right here is another Facebook find. I paid like a hundred bucks for this on Facebook and it came with the hoses, filter, and a bunch of these replacement bags. So that was a good deal. Um, but yeah, I just roll this around and this has a four inch port that I'll just plug into all my tools. So I just roll it around, runs off 110 and I just hook it directly to my tools and it works great for right now. Um, I'd like to upgrade, but for now, this works good. The least used tool in the whole shop is this pull-up bar. I thought, yeah, it'd be great. I could like work out or something and Probably good. Let's talk about the light now. The lights in this shop are the Verena T5 linkable LED lights from Amazon and they are amazing. They don't use a lot of electricity and they are super bright. I have 15 in this, in this shop and I think it's like 40,000 lumens or something ridiculous like that. But it's bright in here and I have no trouble seeing anything that I'm working on. So, love these lights, recommend them. Um, I'll link them down in the description below if you wanna go check them out, buy some for yourself. But they're really nice, and they come with on and off switches. They can plug into just a normal plug-in. They're great. So, yeah, if you don't have a lot of light in your shop, get some of these, they're awesome. And that's it for the 2022 shop tour. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just leave a like below and maybe subscribe to my channel and we'll have some more videos coming out next year um, if you like shop upgrades furniture builds or some diy home improvements um, that's what's coming next year so stay tuned bye